Good afternoon folks, Joey Nelson here at Park Model Homes again. Today we're going to be featuring our Athens 536 floor plan. This is one of our newest models that we just received to our lot here in Spokane. Um, the first thing I really wanted to point out on this unit uh, with the exterior, we did the board and batten exterior so we've got about five to six rows of lap siding on the bottom and we've got board and bat on top. So you can paint it a two-tone color, all one color if you wanted, but it gives it a little bit more contrast on the outside of the house. Next thing you're gonna notice is this rounded front. So it gives you a couple extra square feet in the, the living space, a little bit more architectural look on the front side. All these front windows here is a natural standard feature that we use. That transom window up above is an option. Um, something that I really like about the Athens product is they do a 12 inch eave standard on the sides and on the front of the house. You might see this 528 Athens that comes with a two inch eave, which uh, in my opinion, I wouldn't really go that route. The, the one foot eave to six inch eave is really the way to go. So that's also a really nice feature I like about this particular unit. So coming around here, this is gonna be our main entry. Full view, glass door with internal mini blinds. Let's go inside and take a look here. So the first thing you're gonna see is the snack bar eating area at the kitchen that divides the living room and the kitchen. So I've had a couple requests of people that wanna go all the same length on this counter, which we could totally do that. Uh, this is kinda nice, it lowers it down so you don't need as high of a stool to get there. Um, but yeah, we could do that all one level or just keep it this way. Also, you could add a little bit of an overhang too if you wanted. So, looking into the living room here, here you're gonna see that this whole front side's full of glass and on the back side, so you get a lot of natural light coming in through here, just opens it up for a smaller space. So in this one, we did the upgraded entertainment center. Normally what comes standard is a 48 inch entertainment center and so we did a 78 inch on this one with the big uh, 50 inch electric fireplace. Does throw out some heat, looks nice at night. Uh, really nice feature to add when you're doing that bigger fireplace. Also added the transom windows up above. That's a 72 inch transom window. A little bit bigger than what you'd see like over here. We did the two, two transom windows. So once again, it really opens it up, brings in a lot of light. We also did the decorative tray ceiling. So we recessed the ceiling, painted an accent color, put LED lights, operated by a dimmer switch, and we trim it all in the crown molding too. So you'll notice all around the ceilings, the tray ceiling here, really nice crown molding up above. Just gives it a little bit more character. So. The next thing I really wanted to touch on is we did what's called the hang 10 package. So we elevated the ceilings to a 10 foot flat ceiling and that allows us to do these bigger staggered cabinets. So these are 42 inch tall cabinets as of, you know, most of the time you'll be at a 30, 30 inch or so. So with this hutch area, you have got a ton of storage space, good for coffee pots, uh, you know, microwaves, if you wanted to put a microwave here on the counter, most of the time we do it over the range right here. But you will see the 72 inch tall cabinets here throughout the kitchen as well. Stainless steel farmhouse sink. They are starting to come out with some new additions to it. So you got a drying rack, little strainer. You also got a metal bracket under here to keep it off of the bottom of the, the farmhouse sink. Nice option we like to add, it matches well with the stainless steel appliances with the pull down faucet as well. We also did the full height ceramic tile backsplash. It really transitions nicely from the countertop to the cabinets. Uh, easy to keep clean. So that's normally an option you're gonna see we do a lot here in our park model homes. Stainless steel smooth top electric range. You can do propane or natural gas. So this home is set up 100 amp service so we can go all electric in this particular unit. Coming down the hallway here, we did the double door, French door fridge, stainless steel as well. And we've also got the stackable washer and dryer location, which is also electric. We can do propane if you would like to. 
Now coming to my favorite part of this house. I'm six foot four, so being in a tiny house, this is an option I would prefer personally. We did the 60 inch pan tile shower with the tall 10 foot flat ceilings with the little piece of glass to separate it. So very large shower, rain, rain forest uh, shower head. And we have quite a few different colors to pick from for the tile for the shower. And this bathroom actually has a his and her sink with a ton of storage below. You got your own medicine cabinets and your own personal lights there. Good for his and her. This is one of the biggest bathrooms you're gonna see in a park model, it's really nice. Also did the transom window up above, trimmed with all the crown molding in here as well. Now we're gonna come into the bedroom here. We got the pocket door to match. We also did the bifold closet doors. You do have an option of doing a barn door, bifold doors, or a built-in closet. So we continued the tall ceilings throughout. So this has also got the 10 foot flat ceilings instead of the cathedral peak. But up above, you got a shelf there for plants or for storage. You got the big 72 inch window up above for more light. You got the ceiling fan installed. And you got another transom window up here. Really decent sized bedroom, comfortably fit a queen size, but I have heard of people putting in kings. It is tight, but queen fits comfortably. So this is by far probably one of my favorite non-lofted park models. It is just very open, lots of natural light, great for furniture placement in the living space, tons of countertop space. It really checks all the boxes in my, my opinion. So we expect to be receiving two more units here by the end of the month. We are custom ordering as well. So if you wanted to change your countertops, your cabinets, flooring, it only takes us about a month to two months to build it. So give us a call today at Park Model Homes, 888-222-2699. And we'll be more than happy to get you a customized quote put together for you. Please like, share, and subscribe to all of our videos on YouTube and follow us on Facebook at Park Model Homes. Thank you.